guys, how you doing? Charis here. I just thought I'd share with you uh, some of the kits I've got uh, over the last month or two. Um, I came into a little bit of money, and I thought, eh, I'll just buy a few kits. I brought about bought about 12, I think. <laughs> uh, and that's not even including the resin kits. Anyway, I thought I'd just share with you some of the kits. Uh, the first kit I, I managed to get hold of is this one. Yes, it's, uh, it's an old Kibri kit. Um, this is a company that made, made uh, kits for railways, uh, mainly, um, well, European railways uh, in N-Gage. And I just bought it for a pound. Uh, inside, it has coloured plastic, as you can see, which is quite unusual. Um, it doesn't look like it's painted, but it's coloured plastic, and you also get some uh, foliage, grass. Well, not that sort of grass, if you understand. I know it's a baggy, but it's not that sort of grass. Um, which is kind of weird, isn't it? It's not very good quality or anything, but <laughs> it's good to get in the box. So that's the first one we got. Um, the other one, throw on the floor, is this one. This is the... Uh, Captain Scarlet, Captain Scarlet, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, most of you don't know. Anyway, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a cloud base. Uh, this was the uh, floating base ab above the earth. That's these uh, jets uh, that were called angels. Departed from, launched from. And it's like an aircraft carrier, but a floating one. And uh, I was quite pleased to get this. I got this so cheap. These us this usually goes for about 60 60 pounds, 70 pounds on eBay. Um, it's got some nice parts. Uh, I don't know why it has a moon base because it used to fly over the Earth in in the TV show, Captain Scarlet. But what I'm quite impressed about, and I didn't realise this until it turned out, hey, it's 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 quite big. <laughs> I'm so used to Japanese kits being pretty miniature, really. But this is nice, 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 nice big. And it was literally £15. And so I was very pleased with that. Got uh, all the bits and bobs in, in bags and things. So, yeah, very pleased with that. We'll build that quite soon. We'll have a Captain Scarlet build. So, very pleased with that. 15 quid, not bad at all. Uh, next, we have a, a UFO. This is a Lindbergh UFO. They've been doing this uh, this particular kit for eons. And as you can see, it's by Lindbergh. It's the old uh, badge they used to use. I think this one dates to about the 80s or so. I'm not sure if there's a, a date on there anywhere. Uh, doesn't seem to be. Oops, maybe on that side. Nope, but there we go. And that's it. Also, it's a glow-in-the-dark kit. Yeah, all good fun. Anyway, I thought that that was a bit of fun. Uh, and for you military type people, uh, I got a submarine. I uh, bought this simply because I don't have one. I don't have a submarine in my little uh, stash. And I thought it looked cool coming out of the uh, bunkers there. Uh, it's a, a, D, a DKM type uh, 23 U-boat by Trumpeter. It's a decent size as well, 144 scale, so uh, not bad. So there we go, that's that one. Uh, what's next? Oh, of course, had to get one of these. Space 1999 Eagle One. Uh, I love this show when I was a kid, and I wanted to get one of the uh, repops. Um, very glad I did. Uh, has some pro problems but what kit doesn't but I'm really pleased to get get that uh, it was quite cheap 25 pounds so it wasn't too bad uh, next 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 we have another Lindbergh kit we need to seem to be doing a lot of Lindbergh kits and this one is the UFO from the TV series the visitors I have to think about it then um, it looks I actually thought this kit didn't look very interesting but it ha actually has internal de detail which I'm quite pleased with uh, this one dates to two, I think it's the repop of a repop of a repop of a re repop 2003 but I just thought it's cool 
and again it wasn't hugely expensive so worth a, a go on that now sometimes it's actually worth buying kits that have, have been started uh, this is the uh, the moon bus from the T uh, from the movie 2001 Space Odyssey and uh, I've wanted this kit for ages but it sells for 45 50 even higher uh, but th this one was started in fact and I can't open it because it's st I've sealed it anyway well have I let's have a go but it wasn't started by much let's see the only thing he's done is just some of the main parts here and I can take this apart again if I fancy um, put it in the freezer let it freeze up and take it to work but so it's only a few parts but it's quite a large big beast as well uh, so that's quite good got that for 20 quid simply because it's been started nobody else wanted it start started and I prefer them not you know begun as it were but uh, 20 quid instead of 50 or 60 well worth it that's one I've been looking for for a long time next where well, hang out one of these kits let's see push it back a bit further Robotech mmm Gundams essentially uh, this one's by Revell uh, this dates to about 1983 I think it said on the box um, nice big kit normally uh, Bandai do the uh, Gundams um, and they're usually a 1 100 scale, 1 144 or something, I'm not absolutely sure. Um, but this one, this particular one's 172. And you can actually make it in different variations. So you've got the, the actual robot type one, which looks quite cool. This one's called Axoid. You can also use it as the runner, or the runabout, or I'm not sure what the hell, the hell it is. Or... As you can see, as the airplane, I think we'll make it as a, the robot. Uh, one seventy second is pretty decent scale. This one actually comes with metal parts for the landing gear for the airplane, which uh, I've never seen before. So quite pleased with that. I haven't had one of these before. Uh, again, fifteen pounds for that, so that that's pretty good. Uh, I haven't actually built a Gundam on my channel for. Like, well, ever, I don't think. So that might be a possibility. Next, this is one I got from the USA, which a few, well, about a couple of months ago. And I wish I had a, a, a camera that had a better, uh, it's Tonto, a better wide angle. That's what I was trying to say. Tonto and it's a Aurora kit, an, exact, an actual Aurora kit um, that comes with a, Eight page comic, yay! Uh, I don't know if this one's got a date on it. Let's have a look. No, no, no. Here we go. Sorry, <laughs> it's not in camera. 1974. Cool. Comes from this comic scenes, and there he is, Tonto. So with this kit, what I was thinking, maybe if my channel ever get gets to a thousand, a thousand subs which is probably be next year maybe hopefully with any lucky uh, I might do a giveaway and we may do this kit as the giveaway uh, historical and all that sort of thing obviously I thought it'd be a bit of fun all the bit bits are in there the box is in extremely good nick considering its age I love the artwork the artwork is fantastic so there we go, maybe a possibility of a, a giveaway. Also, don't worry for all you train guys out there and railway guys. I will be doing something for you as well. That's if we ever get to a thousand. You never know. One day. Doesn't really make much odds out either way, really. Right, next we have... Can we do it sideways? There we go. We have a shuttle. I've got a 172nd scale of... Uh, in a big box by somebody or other but I've never had this little one I'm not sure what scale it is does it say it's about 250th or something oh there we go 288 scale that is a weird scale uh, I bought this just for a few pounds didn't cost very much uh, there's a shuttle in bright white and also 
oops, you got the base, and as you can see, the uh, booster is actually in a different color plastic, which is a bit unusual. But what's good about this one, with the decals and all that, is that you can actually light up the base. It has a space there for a box when the battery, and you can have it uh, illuminated. Cool, not bad for a fiver. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, nearly at the end, short video hopefully. Oh, monogram! Yay, monogram! I like monogram stuff. Um, this is from Buck Rogers, the original TV series. Um, not the original, but, but the one from the 70s, anyway. Uh, Buck Rogers, that's the Marauder. Um, got some nice pickies on there. Uh, of the, uh, I think this is the uh, bad people's, <laughs> if you know what I mean, um, uh, Pfizer jet thing. Um, it looks quite nice. The box is in good nick. Uh, wasn't too bad a price. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, I wonder if this has got a date on it. Sorry, I don't know why I'm interested in dates so much. Uh, 1979. There you go. Just after that Star Wars comes out and everybody else decides, oh, that's a great idea. Let's do some sci-fi. Thank God for Star Wars. Because if without Star Wars, we wouldn't have this sci-fi explosion that we got in the 1980s, 90s, and right up to now. It looks like a decent kit. On the inside, still bagged. It's quite a lot, a big kit. Um, what I don't like about it is that, if you see there, it has a Cylon ready thing, which I'm presuming you have to light up, but we might do, do that. It looks very plasticky and toyish, so I don't know what we can do about it. In fact, the whole thing looks toyish, but I like it. And last, but not least, well, actually it is last, is another Robotech. Yes, when one comes along, the loads start count coming at the same time. Um, this was £10. Uh, this was, uh, I think, it doesn't seem, seem to have a date, but I think it's later, um, later 80s or so. Uh, this one was August, uh, who's quite famous as a, a Gundam. Um, Robotech essentially is the Western version of um, Gundams and all that, the Je Japanese Gundams. And they essentially just made a couple of series that they had in J Japan, knitted them all and sort of came up with a hodgepodge of uh, an idea. Now this was a bit different in that it's 148 scale, so it's even bigger. And with this one of course you've got the main robot. I call them robots, they're not really because they're manned, but there we go. Oh, Macross, Gordon Bennett, why couldn't I think of that, uh, the word Macross? Uh, so in J Japan it was called Macross and had lots of series. Over here it was spliced together and it became Robotech. Hmm. So I'm quite pleased with that. That wasn't that was a good ten pounds or so, well spent. So there we are. Um, I think that is about it. That uh, oh, I got one more kit. Well, it's not really a kit. It's a, a resin kit, and it's a Buck Rogers one again. And it's this one, it's 11 inches long, quite nice, it's not in the best nick, um, paint's coming off and all sorts of things as you can see. Still looks cool though. Uh, this was the best thing out of <laughs> Buck Rogers really, apart from uh, Erin Gray of course, who was, let's face it, <gasps> gorgeous. And so I'm going to have a bit of fun with that, needs a, needs a bit of work of course. So there we are, just uh, me showing off really, um, that's about the sum of it, me just showing off. Um, so that's the kits we've got for uh, winter, and for a fair long time to come as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon, bye bye.